with how the meta has changed in modern, it's not only that decks have gotten better, but certain decks have had to adapt and technically gotten worse to make up for other things. What I'm really alluding to is the modern mill versus burn matchup. Specifically, they've kept all the creatures, but not all of them. They've lost the Eidolon of the Great Rebel because if everything costs more than three, four or five CMC these days, it doesn't really punish much, which makes this matchup a lot closer than you think. Enjoy. I won the die roll? Come on. Oh, it's one of them. It's one of them good ones. This one of them good ones. If this fractured sanity was a visions whoo, or the Tasha's Tasha's these days. I get it. Necessary evil, but it's getting weaker by the damn throwing out the Hedron crab because turn two, I could fractured sanity. Otherwise, if there wasn't a turn two play, just just leave it. Honestly, even if I had to drown, I'd still play it out because there's an opportunity I could draw Black Source and then it becomes uh, playable here. Wooded Foothills into Sacred Foundry burn, in which case this Tasha's could be really good here. Rift Bolt, it's burn. Okay, this Tasha's is going to be really good. Getting the fetch line out early is actually crazy too. A lot of times, your um, your fetches are not that great. But we have a lot of aggression here. So I'm actually just going to keep on keeping on. Actually, I'm going to preordain first. Maybe not the Fractured Sandy. Confirm the land drop for the Tasha's. That's what I want to do. Bottom. Okay. Got to find that land drop. Gotta find that land drop. Happy I, I went for the preordained play. Because the Tasha's is going to be big for us here. One Rift Bolt already out of the deck. Um, we got to see counts wise. It might actually be pretty much lethal here. Like two Searing Blazes gone. Rift Bolt, Rift Bolt, Rift Bolt here. Rift Bolt, Rift Bolt. Okay, all three of the Rift Bolts are gone. Um, okay, they're hitting us. Um, we have one skewer here, two Boros charms. Okay, still the numbers are still. Oh. No, opponent, you have no fetchables. I milled over all their lands. No way. This like never happens. This, this never, never happens. This is such, this is one of them rare cases. Okay, look, you take these against burn. You take all their fetchables. Wow, you, yeah, yeah. You take these against burn. That is crazy. That all of their fetchable sources. Because remember folks, they're not playing planes. Okay, they're not playing any other, any other colors. It's their red fetches should be able to get red lands. Oh, they had another one in hand, okay. Wow, though, that, that really set them back. That really set them back. Like, setting them back a turn, that's huge. That's huge. Okay, now I'm going to Tasha's them, and it should just... Oh, uh, actually, not Tasha's. I'm going to get a Fractured. They're, they're at 13 cards. No need to make this non-determinate. Wow, stealing game one against Burn. No need for the Bowmasters whatsoever. We're going to begin sideboarding. Bowmaster is one of the first cards we're going to be taking out, honestly. We're going to go Spell Pierce into... Crypt Incursion and run it back. We're playing good old Demir Mill. You do not need the Bowmasters. Now, in general, you might say the Bowmasters have been pretty mid so far. The games have not lent itself. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. So this hand is interesting. It's got a Fatal Push. It's got a fatal push. So I'll make it work. It's got a fatal push. I'll make it work. Goblin guide. So I gotta, I gotta, ugh, I don't have to fetch shock. It's just the most optimal way to do this. Hold on, fatal push. I should do this now. If they go land and like Boros Charm their Goblin Guide, I mean, if they Boros Charm the Goblin Guide, that, that goes crazy. Since I do have a way to kill the Goblin Guide, I will just kill it now. It's it's like the least amount of damage right now. Um, and then I can just like 
uh, I can fetch for just a plane, uh, planes, an island, and then just drown. So no problem whatsoever. I'm actually just gonna do this right now. Again, I do not want this getting Boros charmed and living. That's a very dangerous situation to get myself into. So they found their second land. That's what they just drew. They're losing a lot of, okay. They're losing a lot of life off of, um, they're losing a lot of life off their lands right now. Bullmasters would have been nice to punish this. Oh, well. That's pretty nice. So I'm going to play both of these out right now. Uh, or do I preordain? I think it might be better to preordain. Let's, let's look for something. We're going to bottom both of these, actually. Neither of these are good. Yeah. Okay. So Archive Trap has to be hard cost. Hard cast. I say hard cost. Being cringe. Okay. Two crabs. Play them both out. Start going to town. I mean, hey, if they're just top decking land, that's what I want to see. Searing Blaze. Okay. Not fun. Okay. Pass through. Taking a ton of damage, like doing so much of this, though. Not ideal, not ideal. Okay. Play the Water Grave tapped. I think that's what I will be doing. At least I have blockers, right? But Seeing Blazes are alive. Pass right through. That roiling vortex having to fetch here. It's not fun. It's not fun. Yeah. Can gain life this turn. Even with the roiling vortex, I don't think I'll be able to get my crypt off, honestly. Yeah, this just kills me. I can't even do this. Yeah. They'll, they'll fetch. It's 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 smart to fetch right now, opponent. Bait me. They've just been top decking lands, by the way, so that's always a fun, that's always a fun thing. I wonder though. I wonder if I archive trap them now. Boros trying to. <laughs> Let's not archive trap them now. <laughs> I mean, I could. Is there a world like that's 26? I polluted Delta for 12. Oh, it's it's one off. It's technically one off. All right. Yeah. No. No. We'll. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. Yeah, the Rolling Vortex really shuts me out hard here. That helps. I'd say that that helps a little bit. So we'll do this. Always yield. Save targets. Always yield. And if they have it, they have it. Like, whatever. But I have to, I have to, like, fetch here. Snow-covered island. Rune crab on the stack first. So I had, I don't know. I didn't really have the win. I'm at five life. It would have been exact seas. So I, I have to be hard casting these. Next turn, I can, they're gonna draw a card. I'm one off next turn. Skull crack for three, okay. I'm at one. This is a roiling vortex. I'm at, I'm at one. Let me think here. Hmm. Yep. All right. Take it. That's fine. All right. All right. All right. Um, that's fine. Um, I think we're gonna play it the same way. Just uh, yeah. They they managed to play their spells and. We didn't find the spells that we wanted. I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Preordain with the Oboro out. If we need to shock in the Watery Grave, we shock it in. It might be better to shock it in. Let's get it done with now. Don't really want to be playing conservative. Preordain. Spell Pierce is nice. Um, I'm going to put on top. I'm going to put on top. I have the Drown of the Lock. 
what I needed, but I don't know. They have nothing in graveyard. Can't really put anything in there. Easily. That's where it gets tricky. Okay. Sanity on top. Yep. Taking a ton of damage here. Uh, we're going to play the Flooded Strand. Pass through. If I don't like what I see off the top. What am I seeing off the top here? Goblin guy gets me what? Fatal push? Not bad. I'll keep that. I won't I won't fetch. I'll keep the push. Not ideal. Not ideal from our burn opponent. Spell pierce that. Hundo P. Take that. Yep. Able to prevent that, which is nice. Play the Aboro. Um, like I have, I have pushed Drown, which is nice. Push Drown is nice. The longer I can dodge them, like having lands, the better. Nice, Dark Six Shores. You have, okay, you have outdone your your usefulness. that second main lava spike that's the same thing fetch shocking so i'm actually just going to yeah bring this in tapped it's it's the same thing i just get to keep my drown otherwise they're going like turn for turn with me here i think maybe we play yeah you know what play the crab play the dark slick shores Keep it safe, stay reactive. If I need to, I'll, s I don't know. I don't really want to cycle the Fractured Sanity because it's a lot of cards milled. It is valuable, but I am also trying to get to another land. If they go land Searing Blaze, big value. Big value. Rift Bolt, sure. Um, Cycle this then. four okay they're at 10 through the visions now okay throw out a tasha's club drown we're getting there they're stuck on one land 13 card exiled a lot of high cmc stuff but we're getting there we're getting there uh, so that's going to come down. I'm going to let the Rift Bolt resolve. Yeah, I'm going to let the Rift Bolt, uh, Rift Bolt resolve. Last thing I need is them going land into something ridiculous. Yeah, Rift Bolt me. That's fine. Yeah, last thing I need is them going land into something ridiculous. All right. What do we got, opponent? Have the Drown Mana. Unfortunately, not a fetch land from them. That game one was crazy. Can I do it here? Counter, big value. Yep, big value. Will them them with this like this is the best i can do here truly the best i can do here just hope they don't draw any more lands they only have like a bunch of two cmc stuff that's the best i can hope for come on come on can i get there so close so close seven life precarious spot Next turn, I'm drawing four cards. Four cards. Haven't seen a single Crypt. Seen the Spell Pierces. Would love to see Crypt. Crypt shuts this game off. There's They don't recover from Crypt. More than enough reason. Active Crab, Boro, they don't recover from Crypt. Okay, Swift Spear. More than happy to block here. Yeah. No, no, no uh, qualms about that. 
Yeah. No qualms about that. That's fine. There you go. So I'm at four. Let's see. I'm supposed to Totten. If Tasha's doesn't get there. Okay. What do we know about their deck? Skewer, Rift Bolt, Skewer. Skewer, 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 Rift Bolt, Rift Bolt. There is still some high CMC stuff in there. I'm worried about this not getting there. But I have to throw it out. The, but the percentage is really high that it is enough. But then my problem is, do I lose on their draw to like, how, how much can I play around that? Like, I think my chances. It doesn't hurt. Visions first. It doesn't hurt. Does not hurt at all. I could draw nothing and then like. Yeah. Okay. Tasha's. Okay, so we got there. Do they have... I think they have a Boros Charm in hand. I think they have a Boros Charm in hand, which is absolutely painful. Oh, right down to the end. Do they have the Boros Charm? Do they have the Boros Charm? They have not conceded. They have not conceded. Oh, I hate you so much. All the way to the end. Yeah. I was not there's no there's no way I uh I could have played around this. Um that is just unfortunate. All right, GG's. That's the that's the burn matchup right down to the end, but I'm happy that Mill can at least make the burn player fight for it.